Hi, it's Andy here, and today we're doing a review. Today we're doing a review of a new set of Bluetooth headphones. The headphones are Vitaltronics BH052 headphones. Uh, they're totally wireless headphones, meaning they're a bit like AirPods. Vitaltronics headphones are quite popular on Amazon. If you look through, you'll see there are quite a lot of them with really good reviews. These headphones retail for $29.99 on Amazon.co.uk. They're more expensive on Amazon.com, but they are the same headphones. I bought headphones before from Tautronics and I found them to work well, which is why I went down the route of selecting these as the pair of wireless headphones I was going to go and buy. If we take them out and look at them, these are clearly marked left or right. It's really important to note that the left hand headphone is essentially the master headphone. If you get this one out first out of the box, that means when you get the right hand one out, it will also kind of pair. If you don't do this and you do it the other way around, the right headphone will be have to be paired manually with your phone for the first time. When you first put them in your ears, the headphones talk to you. They tell you their pairing and they tell you they the left hand channel and the right hand channel. I will say that the volume on these kind of instructions that they give you is a bit lower than what you experience when using it for the other features. The headphones also have touch sensitive controls. So for example, if you want to pause music, you can tap either of the headphones. Tapping either of the headphones will pause or then pause music. And again, similar to this, as well as being able to pause or unpause, you can skip tracks, you can go forward or backwards. So if I double tap the right headphone twice, it will move on to the next track. Similarly, if I want to go back to the previous track, I can double tap the left headphone. Another nice feature of each of these is you can use them to control the volume as well. So for example, if I hold the right headphone and press for three seconds, it will increase the volume. Similarly, if I do the same on the left headphone, it will decrease the volume. Additional to this, you can also use Google Now. So if I long key press the headphone, I could trigger Google. Having triggered Google, I could use it normally as I would on my phone. Removing the headphones. The headphones are quite comfortable to wear. I've been able to wear them for an extended period. I think the battery duration you're likely to get from these headphones is around about two and a half hours, but the manufacturer does quote it as being three hours. To charge the headphones, you just put them back in the box, like so, and like so. The lights come on and it will tell you it's charging. Each of the headphones will light up as well, which gives you an indication of what the status is on it. The box has some nice features, as well as the translucent kind of top, which I mentioned before, so you can see what's going on inside the box, whether it's charging or not. It has the standard kind of a micro USB input, and on the other side, it has a USB output, so that you can make use of a 3,500 milliamp hour battery, which is inside. The audio quality of the headsets is quite good. I mean, I'd say it's slightly lacking in bass, but in terms of what I'm going to use for it, it'll be absolutely fine. The headphones themselves are meant to be fully waterproof, so you're meant to be able to use them for swimming. Personally, I'm not going to do that, and I don't really see the user case, but it's good to know that if I ever wanted to do that, I could do. So in summary, would I recommend this headset? I'd say for the pricing and the price point, and coming from a brand who I've used before, I'd say these, he these headphones are credible. Yes, they may not give you as good a quality as you might get from a, an Apple product or a competitive product from another manufacturer. But I would say the amount of features you've got in here and some of the nice touches around the box definitely make it worth considering if you're in the need to purchase some new headphones. Anyway, that's it for this video. So if you do want any other information on these headphones, please drop me a line. And if you did like this video content, please do consider liking and subscribing. Mm -hmm.